Dear students, I welcome you all to this physics tutorial series. I am following the book by NCERT for class 11, that is part 1. So in this video, we will solve the problem number 3.3 .3 from the chapter number 3. In this problem, we are given that a woman starts from her home at 9 am. This is the starting time or we can say that this is the starting of the movement okay works with a speed of 5 km per hour this is the speed of the woman from her home to the office on a straight road she moves in a straight road let me show you here suppose a woman her home is here okay and her office is here so let me write down here this is office so from home to office she moves in a straight line so through this path she works this woman is working from her home to the office and here it is given that she works in a straight line with a speed of she works at the speed of 5 km per hour that means in one hour she moves 5 km of distance she stays at the office up to 5 pm at this office she stays up to 5 pm at 9 am she started she stays here at this office and after 5 pm that means at the time 5 pm she returns home by an auto with a speed of 25 km per hour when she returns okay from office to the home her movement her speed is 25 kilometer per hour now she is coming or now she is returning to the home at a much higher speed with an auto so we have to choose suitable scales and plot the xt graph of her motion that means this is just for explanation this is not the graph we have to consider some proper scales and then we have to see how the movement is changing how the position of the uh, object or position of the woman is changing so we have to plot this graph first of all let us consider some scales so from here we will start the solution now let us consider the scales as follows so first of all let me write down then i will explain you with the graph let us consider time along the along the x axis and we will assume that one division okay one division is equal to one hour so we have assumed this one again we will consider the distance along the y axis distance along the y axis so here we will consider one division one division is equal to 0 0.5 kilometer now let me show you the scales graphically suppose this one is x axis and along the y axis we have this is the position and along the x axis we have the time okay now we have considered the scales that means one division is equal to one hour along the x axis we have one division is equal to one hour so let me so some divisions so in the question it is given that the woman starts to her office at 9 am so at this origin let me show you this time is 9:00 am okay at this point or at this origin she starts moving now let me show you the uh, y-axis divisions we have considered one division is equal to 0 0.5 kilometer so suppose 0 0.5 kilometer this is one kilometer then we have this is 1.5 then we have this is 2.0 and then we have 2.5 and here we have 3.0 so along the y-axis we have considered one division is equal to 0 0.5 kilometer again we have considered along the x-axis one division is equal to one hour so at 9 am she started moving or she started walking along the straight line and she directs to her office so in one division we have considered it is one hour so this will be 10 this is 11 am 11 am this is 12 and after that this is 1 pm okay in this way each division represents it is one hour interval so if she starts at 9 am so it will be its division will have 10 am 11 am 12 pm then 1 2 3 4 these are the times okay or the hours 
now what we have to say we have to see the conditions given in this question it is given that c works with a speed of 5 kilometer per hour so we are given with the speed we are given with the distance distance is 2.5 kilometer away so distance is 2.5 kilometer away and c moves at the speed of 5 km per hour so distance and speed are given so time taken to reach the office we can calculate let me first of all calculate the time therefore we can write time taken to reach the office this is equal to distance divided by the speed so distance if we divide the distance with the speed then we'll have the time taken so what was the distance it is 2.5 kilometer and what was the speed it was 5 kilometer per hour 5 kilometer per hour so what will be the time taken 0 0.5 this much of hour okay this much of hour time taken now we have to consider that we are having the position along the y-axis so starting from this point let me show you with another color so from this point at this half of this hour okay she will reach the office and office is 2.5 kilometer apart so this is the 2.5 kilometer distance okay let me draw a dotted line this is 2.5 kilometer position or this is the 2.5 kilometer position or distance apart so she will reach the office starting from this zero point at half an hour here we have obtained that this is the 0 0.5 hour or half an hour in half an hour of time she will walk to the office okay so here we have to draw a line so let me draw a line here so from here to here she works she reached the office at 0 0.5 hour so this time let me show, show you with a dotted line at this 0 0.5 hour that means this time is nothing but this is 9 30 because 0 0.5 hour means it is 30 minutes 9 hour 30 minute am she will reach the office this time is 9.5 or 9 hour 30 minute am at this point she is now at the office now she will stay at the office up to 5 pm so let me show you with another dotted line this is this dotted line shows the 5 pm okay up to this time she stays at the office now let me show you here with a straight line because from 9 30 a.m. to 5 p.m. she is staying at the office okay so here you can see she is at the office so here we can see this point is suppose O this point is A at point A she is at the office now this point is B and at point B from point B from the office she now returns back to the home so for returning what are the conditions given she comes to the home or she returns to the home by an auto with a speed of 2.5 km per hour so this is the speed given of the auto now she is returning from the office to the home this is the office position and this is the home position this x line this represents the home position okay she comes back to the home so we have to calculate the time taken to reach the home so therefore from the office comma time taken to return or reach the home is equal to again distance divided by speed so here let me write down distance divided by speed now she is coming with an auto therefore we are given that the auto speed is 25 kilometer per hour okay distance was fixed 2.5 kilometer apart now here we have obtained that 0 0.1 hour this much of time she is taking so 0 0.1 hour means how much will be the minute 0 0.1 into hour if we want to convert 60 so here we'll have six minutes so after six minutes she will reach her home that means at five hours six minutes 
she will reach the home therefore five hours she moved or started moving towards home so at 5.06 5 hours 6 minute this much of time pm she will reach the home now let me show you here so here you can see after six minutes somewhere here she will reach home after this one is five hour this one is five hour this one is five hour six minutes so let me show you here so this is 5.06 pm at this time she will reach the home so this is the position time graph actually you need not to show these dotted lines you can directly draw the graph actually these times you did not to write in the graph okay it is easily understood from the graph already scales are given and you have to show so this is the position time graph let me show you here this graph this graph is the position time graph so this much for today thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you